and hello! Welcome back to this episode, this reaction of episode 3 of Eureka. So, I'm really liking the series so far. Last episode, we got some really interesting themes going on with Susan and Walter and some cloning happening. But I think the standout funny of the episode was definitely that Fargo had kind of weaseled Jack into dating his house, which was a little bit hilarious, especially because I am pretty sure that Jack and Allison are going to get together at some point. Like, they got... I see the chemistry happening there. They like each other. Plus, Allison's husband made, like, the offhand comment he wants to have sex with her. So there was that. Yeah, there's, there's just a lot going on. We'll see what episode three has in store for us. So if you like this video, give it a like. If you want to ask a question, do it in the comments. And if you want to see more, uh, go ahead and subscribe. Go ahead and head in the description. There's a link to the full unedited version down there. Anyways, oh, and if you want to talk to me, Discord. Okay. Here we go. Has something occurred? Something serious? You good? I'm good. We're open and strong. You need to come with me. Carter, what did you do? Uh. Why did you shoot Henry? I, I don't remember. Poor Henry. I don't remember anything. Okay. I went back to check some of my own personal files and they've been classified. It's not my fault that there are things about yourself that you're just not clear to know. Yeah, I hate to stumble across something. <laughs> my therapist. You think agents of the foreign government would be after your underwear? Maybe. See what I mean? Now, kiss. Jim, this is new Sheriff Jack Carter. Good to meet you. And the man himself, Jason Anderson. Hey. Uh. Sarah Coffee, black. Parental override initiated. <laughs> oh, come on. I was up all night reading Shakespeare. Uh-huh. I don't oh, think she needs much really more coffee. I really find myself emotionally. Um, I feel like I'm really starting to fit in. Do you remember my school plays when I was a kid? Mm-hmm. You remember my cucumber outfit? Mm -hmm. You were the cutest cucumber in the garden. <laughs> she wasn't a cucumber. I was a tomato. Yep. <laughs> oh, yeah. You were not prey to nutrition. Oh, I knew you were a vegetable. Come on. Zoe. Stop digging. Great. It is different. Mm hmm. It is. Mm hmm. Um, I gotta grab my costume from Vincent after school, and then I have rehearsal until six. Sir, you should know. Your daughter's an incredible talent. Change the paradigm. Oh. I wonder how she's like fitting in with all the other kids. It's good to have you back. Stealing my breakfast. I sense a history. Jason would never ask, but we could use your help on this one. The Wonder Twins do not need my help. <laughs> we do. All right. Alright. You can't park there. I was just recruiting him to help us out on the body armor. Oh, just like old times. Yeah. Speaking of which, Henry, I gotta fly before Stark has an aneurysm because we're being way overpaid to pinch hit on this project. If you can help us crack it, there's a very expensive bottle of scotch in the brain. A very expensive bottle of scotch. Who is the Stark person? Not a very good idea. Is Iron Man in this universe? My apologies. No, I meant what about his wife and you? Oh. That's how you're talking. <laughs> We're friends. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. When weren't you friends? Come on, man. That's obvious. I was best man at their wedding, and the rest is ancient history. I'd say there's a candle, and it's a burning. Is this Stark? Napalm. Did I miss something? Oh, well, that person is dead. 
Army was promised indestructible force field body armor based on your preliminary designs. Field demonstrations tomorrow. Even without the fix, this still could save thousands of lives, not just soldiers. Army's all stocked up on insurgent strongholds right now. You get paid to produce results. No, you won't let me down. I mean, what she said is true. What they've built already is amazing. I haven't failed in 15 years. I'm not going to start. Who's going to make the coffee? <laughs> Ballistics. Uh, but I gotta get this to Zoe before rehearsal. I'm trying to score some points. Tell her to break a leg for me. Oh god, watch out for the dog! Sheriff. Evil lady. Dr. Anderson is under a great deal of stress. We're in a dynamic therapy session. This isn't what you think, Sheriff. Uh, my concern about this is that you're doing 60 in a 30 mile an hour zone. Hey, get, get back in the car. Is he in on it? Is he in on the evil? Get back in yours. Are we gonna have a problem? Looks that way. Joe, this is Carter. We're gonna need some backup on Old Post Road. Over. If only you had used their actual names. Where's the perp? You called me. Why did you call me? I can't remember. What do you got? I usually uh, sympathize with the bad guys work. a little bit. Don't know why. But I do not like the therapist. You know what? It's time for more coffee. <laughs> Dive in. Jason will solve it again. You'll see. Oh, come on. We can crack this. It's his gift. He'll just take it all in and he just sees the answer. You and I can solve this together. Yeah. Okay. Just gotta believe in yourself. We pulled up all the research. I double checked. Fingerprint. Oh my god! She totally solved it and he's totally gonna take credit for it. T. That is it. It works. You son of a. <laughs> you saved us again. How long have you been doing this? I took my ticket book out of the car for a reason. Hey, Jack, have you got any reports from anybody who's time. lost time? Oh, all right, we got it. We're getting on to the mystery. So, 10 minutes? We digitize all the audio, including the radio calls. Joe, it's Carter. Uh, I need some backup on Old Post Road. I don't remember saying that, but I must have pulled someone over. The first four of the plate are N-I-D-5. Uh, are you serious? Uh, N-I-D-5-6-3. And Jason was there when I lost time. Okay, so they're gonna know, like, that he didn't know, or didn't mean to shoot Henry. Because Henry's my favorite. Security cameras. Do they have security cameras? Does it work on security cameras? Remember. Sorry, Carter. I have to keep your badge and gun. No. Ow. No. Whatever happened, it wasn't Jack's fault. Absolutely nobody remembers what happened. I've got nothing. The last thing I remember, I was in my office. Allison, we have to figure this thing out. You can still investigate without your gun. Sarah, door. Up and down. Up and down. I will bring them up and down. I am feared in fields in town. Um, I know I've been forgetting a lot of stuff today, but I know this is my living room. Oh, crap, I have your costume in my car. Yeah, luckily for you, I don't need it. Just trying to help. Aw, oh, I know, just don't ever do it again. Now when thou wakest with thine own fool's eyes, Pete. How come you're a genius? He having an idea. Somebody's done something to us. We just don't know what. Okay. We all forgot? All of us? Yeah, a, a gizmo, a device. Uh, has to be a device. Do you have a... I don't remember doing that. Okay, this is weird. 
I oh, think he's okay? putting it together. Yeah, I'll just, um... Hey, how are you really feeling? Better now. This is weirder. Jason Anderson? What if Jason was a cafe diem? That's why we were there. Check the receipts. See if Vincent made a meal for Jason today. OK, and where are you going to go? I got to go see a guy about a thing. Device, gizmo. Just, uh, but there's something else we have to do first. I have this blank spot that I just cannot fill in. I bet she has a lot of oh, those. What happened before with us? I've been trying to remember. I'm just, I'm just grateful that we were able to salvage a friendship. I figured it all out. I know what you're up to. In regards to, I know you have a device that can create a wormhole or uh, bend time, a wormholing, time bending, invisibling device that shields you from the mind. Yes, he said invisibling. Mm. Okay, just let go of him. Get out of here while you can. Go, Carter. How are you so strong? I'm small, but I'm scrappy. <laughs> 50 minutes, not a second less. Yeah. Oh. Well, I've had resistant patients, but you've set a new benchmark. You know what it is? I like characters that are evil, or I don't like I like characters that are evil. I can sympathize with characters that are evil. I do not like characters that mess with your head. Like... Villains that make you distrust reality can go screw themselves. Do you know any way that uh, someone could make people forget things? And it wasn't just me, it was, it was everybody at Cafe Diem. You'd be surprised what the true masters can do. Mm -hmm. Do you trust Henry? Of course. Then shouldn't you trust Henry's opinion of Dr. Anderson? I hope your little gizmo gadget backfires on you when you explode. Do you think he intentionally shot Henry? Doesn't everyone? Yeah, how else do you explain that? Stab him. I don't know. There seem to be an awful lot of things around here lately that require an explanation. <laughs> solve it again. What? Looking at it, I know I can do it. I can solve it. What did you do? Come in here, bring in some coffee, see that Henry and I already solved the problem. Looking for this? Last night I had a, a theory about your buddy Jason. Jason? Yeah, like um, that he had a device of some kind. You know, a device that could like um, erase short bursts of time or, uh, or how we perceive them. He could make us forget about whatever he wants. Fine, that's not crazy? Not at all. Jason Anderson has a machine that can wipe out short-term memory. How can you be so sure? Because I built it. So you have one too? No, while I was developing it with Jason, I could never get a single test to work. Jason Anderson has a, a, a device. A device. Oh, great, you too. It's Will Kim's personnel files and Jason's. All the records back to college. That'll show us why. My guess is he wasn't very bright and she was. You sure about this? Tested the force field six times. And whose insane idea was this? Dang. I don't remember. Kim is far too sensible to try something like this. <laughs> Good luck. All of Jason's breakthroughs were fields Kim pioneered. This is Jason Anderson we're talking about. He's been stealing her work for decades. What about all the other research projects he's helped on? This is monstrous. 20 minutes at a time. Add it up, Henry. He took a lot more than 20 minutes of my memory. We'll make this right, Kim. I already have. No! Carter, what are you doing here? You're, you're under suspension. Joe. You have no idea why I'm here, do you? Oh! Ugh, God, don't, don't save him at the last moment. Just let him go. One. Stop! Don't. Dang it. Don't. Please. I am leaving. I can run. I don't, I don't know anything anymore. How many times did I tell Jason I'm leaving and I walk out that door and boom, none of it happened. Why can't we remember if we ever even kissed? And if he stole, 
was. Here we go with the really, really, like, What's deep themes on? again. We know about your memory wiper, which is a device that Henry built. I outsmarted you. Now I know <laughs> you're one hundred percent certain that you're smarter than me. But he's smarter than Kim. But if Kim's the real genius, then you have no way of knowing if she sabotaged that vest. But if you're smarter than her, then there's no way she could have figured it out. There's no way she could play you, right? I mean, you're Jason Anderson. Let's fire this puppy up. No, no. I think it's time for you to go, Jason. Stark, come on. He should go to jail forever. I did what I had to do, but I gave you a good life. No, you took it. Even though you stole my life, I couldn't take yours. I just turned down the power so you'd get banged up a bit. Seriously, jail forever. Stark offered me a position at GD. Oh. So I'd stay here Are and... Are you... Considering it? Yeah. Well, that's good. No question you'd be an asset. <laughs> Where am I? You're gonna be great. Um, break a leg. Thanks, Dad. Woo! Oh, oh, she was amazing. And that was my reaction to uh, Eureka episode three called Before I Forget, um, season one. I really liked that episode. The two characters, uh, I can't remember their names anymore. The, Henry's friends. I just remember them as Henry's friends in my head. I swear I've seen them somewhere, especially the lady, but I don't know where. It was lighthearted, which I think a lot of the series is just going to be lighthearted. I unfortunately really would have liked to see Jason face some consequences. I don't mind that the show is like, like heart lighthearted and everything, but some of these people are doing some really wicked crap and they need to have some consequences. Like, cause like Kim was saying, if he took 20 minutes of her life and God knows how often he was taking that 20 minutes and especially in very important moments, he could have taken weeks or years of her life seriously screwed with her. If you don't know the decisions you're making, then how much of your life is yours, you know? So like, Jason really should have at least been put in jail. I wouldn't have minded seeing him, you know, shot. I did, although, I mean, I was happy at the end that Kim decided not to kill him. I wouldn't have mind seeing him die, but um, I'm glad that Kim was a better and higher person than him uh and was above it all and like you know what you're not i'm not going to reduce myself to as base a creature as you are nonetheless really good episode really liked it i think i'm i'm just gonna watch another one <laughs> honestly um because i want to and i really like it uh, if you like this give it a like let me know what you thought down in the comments and if you want to see more subscribe get notified full version in the description down below. Otherwise, I will see you next time. Bye.